So Magic Eraser is a new feature that Google has just given out to Google Photos. So if you want to use it, I'll go and show you how. But you will, as of right now, you will have to be a Google One, you know, buyer of their subscription plan. Basically, it's their monthly thing. You can do it if you want to. It's not the biggest, best thing in the world, but it is an option. So there's probably some free tools out there. Snapseed is one that gives you kind of the same feature. But if you want to use it, you will have to be on Google One and you'll have to make sure you're up to date on one of the more recent versions of you know, Google Photos application. So then whenever you're ready, you can go and make your way over to your Google Photos application. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make your way over and find your specific photo. So in this case, so let's say I wanna come here and let's say I wanted to try to erase something, right? But what I can do is I can go ahead and click the edit button, which is right here. And then what I can do is going to give me a few options. What I wanna do is I wanna go into tools and then you will find the magic eraser button. So what you want to do is you want to click Magic Eraser. It's going to analyze the photo and it's going to see tap to highlight suggestions. And it's going to say you can br also brush over certain things too if you want. And then it's going to allow us to kind of erase things. So now if I want, if I can zoom in, I can go ahead and try clicking like this little option here, holding it down. And I can see if it'll go ahead and remove it. And I guess it didn't. But I can also draw around objects too. So if I wanted to remove this phone, I don't know how good of a job it's going to do. Actually, let's go ahead and remove this text. Like I said, I don't know how good of a job it's going to do. But if I go and kind of highlight around it, let's go and see what happens. So if I go and highlight around it, you can see it did kind of erase it. It didn't do that great of a job, but you can see that it did kind of try to go ahead and remove something. So I think that's actually kind of decent, like for it just to remove that. Now, if I were to go and continue on, I can go ahead and draw around it again. And you can see, I guess it would go ahead and try to remove a few more things over here. I think it kind of messed up things right there. You can also click on the configure button down here to configure it a little bit further. But that's just an example that you have. If I wanted to go ahead and erase this whole thing, I'd probably draw around this whole entire phone. You can see it didn't really do that good of a job. Maybe you can only do certain things. Like if I try this, you can see it doesn't really try to remove everything. I did try to go ahead and try to do, you know, remove that specific thing. It wasn't really working, but that's just an example. If I go and try to do it, let's see what happens here. So it looks like it works sometimes, it doesn't work other times, but and that's an example of how you do it. Whenever you're done, you can click done, and then you can pretty much save the photo or edit the photo as you normally would. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.